CataractCoach.com, single site phacotrabeculectomy. This patient had two prior failed trabeculectomies. So you can see those are the two sites of the prior failed trabs. And now this patient needs to have cataract surgery and another trab. So the surgeon is going to do a single site for both. So you can see starting off here doing a little bit of a pyridomy. And you can see a little bit of scarring there on the conjunctiva. And so making a little bit of a pyridomy. And so we're going to have this base of this uh, conjunctival opening going to be there at the uh, fornix. Here comes a stay suture. That's a smart move. So a corneal traction suture being placed there, cleaning up the sclera a little bit. Here comes the creation of a scleral flap. So triangle shape in this case, using a crescent blade now to go half scleral depth and create that opening. So half scleral depth and then getting that a little bit more advanced anteriorly. There it is. So there's your flap. We're going to use that for the trab site. Now going a little bit further in, and now looks like uh, probably 5-FU. There you go. 5-FU. You can also use mitomycin here. And so placing that in there. And now making a paracentesis, you're going to do the cataract now. Tripan blue dye, probably always a good idea. Dilute that down. You can see a little bit of a sneakye there. So viscolizer going inside. You could probably break the sneakye as well at this time. There you go. You can see prior peripheral iridotomies being um, illuminated there. Entering in that exact same path with the keratome, and now getting the rexus done. So it's doing the rexus. The cataract part will be relatively routine here, just through this little tunnel, and getting that completed here. So when you do this rexus, I'd make sure you don't do too big of a rexus, right? Because in the trab patient, you may have sh shallowing or flattening of the AC in the post op period. So this is a case where I do a slightly smaller rex, maybe even four and a half millimeters. That way, even if the AC totally flattened or shallowed out in the post-op period, you're still going to keep the IOL fully in the capsule bag. If you have a five and a half millimeter rex in a case like this, and you get a shallowing or flattening of the AC, and the bag collapses, well, then you can get part of the optic of the lens coming out of the bag. So again, in a case like this, I tend to do a slightly smaller rexus. So four and a half is probably my sweet spot at the most five. So there's the nucleus being split and pieces being removed pretty nicely and straightforward. Looks good. A little chop technique there with this second manipulator instrument. You can chop with any instrument, right? It's just all about the technique. And now taking out the cortex here, epinuclear shell. Be very cautious. The last thing you need in a case like this is a broken bag and vitreous prolapse. So very cautious here. That looks great. Beautiful technique here. I want to say thank you to our surgeon here for submitting the video. And there we go. Cleaned up very nicely. Obviously, in a case like this, I think the smart choice tends to be a monofocal lens. And these patients obviously have compromised posterior segments with the nerve fiber layer issues and optic nerve issues. So here comes the lens. Looks like a single piece monofocal acrylic lens going inside the capsule bag very nicely. Get that positioned. Now let's see, get it open up in the bag. Looks like you have beautiful rexus overlap. Looks like a tiny eye, so maybe a hyperopic eye. Now let's see what's going on now. Washing out the viscoelastic probably. Okay, and now here's the Kelly punch. There you go. Kelly punch being performed here. Take a bite of that sclera out. That looks great. And now a little peripheral iridotomy being done, a little excision of the peripheral iris there. And now using some tenon nylon to suture down this trab flap. And then should need be, you can always lice those in the post-op period using a laser. And so now close the conjunctiva. Make sure you have a really watertight closure here. That's important. So beautifully done. Single site, phaco trab. And again, make sure the conjunct closure here is very good at the end. Blue dye test. Oh, I like that idea. So put some dye in here. I use triamcinolone particles to see. But you can put the blue dye in and make sure it flows out. And then close up the eye and call it a day. Beautiful technique. And tomorrow we'll have dual sight.